Hi, welcome to a video on how to graph horizontal and vertical lines on the TI Inspire. We are examining today example 1 from chapter 3, section 4 of Big Ideas Algebra 1, where we want to graph y equals 4 and x equals negative 2. Now, because we are graphing, we need to start by creating a graphing document. So let's go to our calculator and do that, creating a graphing document here. Now, as you can see, what's going to pop up this is standard, is an f of x notation. Now that is giving us a function, it is in function notation, and again that's just the typical way that they give it to us. Now this is great for us for graphing horizontal lines because I remember that f of x is the same as y. They're just different notations, both meaning the y value or the uh, dependent variable. So in this case, so if you want to graph y equals 4, I can graph it as f of x equals 4. It is the same thing, and I have that knowledge to help back up my graph. I hit enter, and I can see my line y equals 4, also known as f of x equals 4. Now the next line I want to graph was x equals negative 2. Now when I hit tab to graph another line, I see, oh, it still has the f of x, which means y, but I want x equals. Now this is critical. Do not get confused by the fact that there's an x there that is not the same as just a plain x equals a number. It is f of x, which means it is a function of x. So again, not useful for my x equals negative 2 graph. I need to use a different notation. I can find that notation on my calculator by going to Menu. Under Menu, I've got a bunch of options. I want the graph entry, so again, we're graphing here. Now, the x equals, as you've learned in class, is not a function. It is, in fact, however, it is an equation of a different template. As I look under equation templates, I see an option for a line. I do know it is a vertical line. And under the option for lines, I see vertical line right there as option two. So you have to go into your table uh, under, under Menu, 3, I'll go back through it, 3, Equation templates, line, vertical line. I click that. Notice it has a little picture of a vertical line to help me know, oh yeah, this is a vertical line I'm graphing. And I can type in my number, which is negative 2. Hit enter, and there's my vertical line at the x value of negative 2. Last of all, it is important to note that once you have changed the template in which you're graphing, if you hit tab, to graph again, it will always stay in that template until you change it. So if you want to go on and then graph another line and you're stuck with the x equals, you need to know how to change it back. So there's a couple ways to change it back, but the easiest one is just to go under Menu, Graph Entry, and change it back to Function. And when you do that, it'll change back to the f of x notation that you wanted. 